the left eye of a 65 year old male patient who is a chronic diabetic and known case of pedia and vitreous hemorrhage the patient also had a pupillary membrane due to the chronic diabetes so the patient was advised phacomalsification with iol implantation followed by pars plana vitrectomy by the vr surgeon under subtenon anesthesia the patient was taken up for surgery using a 1 mm keratome the paracentesis is made and the globe is stabilized with it and using a 2.2 mm keratome the primary incision is made intracameral adrenaline is injected following which trifen blue is injected since there is a membrane and posterior synecae there was no pupillary reaction but the reason for injecting trifen blue initially is to find any weak areas in the posterior synecae so that it will help in separating the pupillary membrane following which viscoelastic was injected and using a spatula through a small gap on the nasal side the spatula was slid underneath the iris and the pupillary membrane was separated on either side it got separated totally inferiorly but superiorly it was very adherent so viscoelastic was again injected and using a micro forceps the pupillary membrane was gently peeled while doing so bleed from the pupillary margin is common now we can appreciate the intumus and mature cataract beneath the pupillary membrane so first the viscoelastic is washed using balance salt solution and then intracameral adrenaline is injected for attaining maximum mediasis and also to arrest the pupillary bleed following which intracameral trifen blue is injected and a second air bubble is injected so that it paints the anterior lens capsule properly in such cases where the cataractous lens is intumescent i prefer to fill the anterior chamber with viscoat before doing a rexis using a bent cyst tome rexis was initiated so initial central flap was taken but then i realized the cyst tome was blunt before i could change there was an argentina flag sign using a long and thin vena scissor a small oblique nick was given at the 7 o'clock position of the argentina flag sign and using a micro forceps a partial rexis was completed likewise while doing the subincisional area it is difficult to use a vanas in that area so i use a cystitome through the side port to give a small nick and raise a flap once the flap was raised i used the micro forceps to complete the subincisional part of the hemirexis in such cases it's better to avoid doing a hydro dissection so i do gentle hydro delineation to loosen up the cortex and the nucleus and then i inject hpmc to fill the anterior chamber always do a direct chop technique in such cases the globe is stabilized with the chopper and the phaco probe is introduced into the eye all the cortical matter above the nucleus is gently <coughs> aspirated but in this particular case the underlying nucleus was very soft so i made a central trench and tried to crack but there was a little bit of cheese wiring so i rotated the nucleus and tried to do a chopping of that particular hemi nucleus there was a lot of cheese wiring one small quadrant was scooped out from the periphery carefully it was emulsified and then the subsequent part of the nucleus was gently scooped and emulsified in such cases with an argentina flag sign before removing the phaco probe from the eye always fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic while simultaneously moving your foot pedal from 2 to 1 to 0 and once the viscoelastic is completely filled in the anterior chamber withdraw your probe this is mainly to prevent posterior extension of the argentina flag sign you can see there is very minimal cortex visible and the red glow is very very poor so using a kugelen soak the iris is extracted to see for underlying cortex and then using an ia probe gently cortical wash is done 
and similar to the phaco probe removal here also viscoelastic is injected into the anterior chamber and then the ia probe is withdrawn the patient had opted for a single piece hydrophilic intraocular lens as there was enough rim support i proceeded with the same intraocular lens the globe was stabilized with the chopper and the intraocular lens was gently injected while doing so make sure the leading haptic goes directly into the bag following which it is easier to tuck in the trailing haptic the haptics are positioned in such a way that they are perpendicular to the tear area using coaxial irrigation aspiration probe the score removal is done and then the primary and secondary incisions are hydrated using balance salt solution and a hydro cannula using a 10-0 nylon suture the primary incision was sutured always remember to form the anterior chamber tightly after the bite and before tying the knot and then the patient was shifted to the retina operating room to summarize while operating on chronic diabetic patients it's very important to get a physician's fitness and a consent from the patient for guarded visual prognosis proper preoperative evaluation with b scan is a must in such cases inject intrahumeral adrenaline which might sometimes help in releasing the posterior synecdoche and breaking up the membrane inject trifen blue before membrane peeling to find out the weak areas in the pupillary margin use a spatula to separate the membrane and to peel the membrane always use a micro forceps always wash the viscoelastics after membrane peeling and repeat the injection of adrenaline and intrahumeral trifen blue so as to have maximum adhesiveness and proper staining of the anterior lens capsule always check your instruments before introducing into the eye for example in this particular case the cystitome was blunt give radial cuts at the mid periphery at the event of an argentina flag sign and use a micro forceps to complete the partial hemirexis while doing so on the subincisional side use a micro scissor through the side port or a cystitome to raise the flap and complete the hemirexis using a forceps if the nucleus is hard convert it to a sclerocorneal tunnel in other cases always do a hydro delineation and try to do a direct chop in cases of soft cataract try to scoop out the nucleus and emulsify it in toto always inject viscoelastic before withdrawing your phaco probe or irrigation aspiration probe the ideal lens to place in such scenario is a three piece intraocular lens in the sulcus in other cases where you have a proper rexis rim you can place a single piece in the bag place the haptics perpendicular to the site of the tear in case the patient is taken up for a retina surgery always seal the primary incision with a 10-0 nylon suture always form the anterior chamber after the bite and then tie the permanent knots make sure there are no air bubbles in the anterior chamber before shifting the patient to the retina theater thank you